Hi and once again welcome to this me versus math tutorial on finding sides using the cosine rule part of our advanced trigonometry series. If you're viewing this then you should already be comfortable with labeling sides and angles ready to use this rule. If you're not then please first check out the relevant tutorial and come back later. Otherwise let's begin. This is the cosine rule then, and the biggest hurdle in using it is the sheer number of parts that it's made up of. Sides appear multiple times, some parts are squared, and so on. It really is a time when you have to be careful and deliberate with your working out, and particularly when entering things into your calculator. Let's get on to a question and see exactly how it's done. OK, we're starting from a point where all our angles are labelled and we're being asked to find side A. Let's label up sides B and C first, opposite their respective angles. Now very carefully, let's begin to substitute in our values. We're trying to find A, so we'll leave A squared exactly where it is for now. A squared is equal to, slowly now, step by step, B squared so 5.9 squared plus c squared so add 4.7 squared now it's the next part where i think a lot of mistakes are made minus 2bc cos a all these components are connected so they all need to be done together so we'll wrap this next section in brackets that's really important Let's do the 2BC part first. That means 2 times B times C. So for our example, minus, open a bracket, 2 times 5.9 times 4.7. Then this part is multiplied by cos of angle A. So notice I'm still within that bracket. Multiply by cos 107 and close that bracket off. Now if needs be, just pause the video for a moment there and look over those first two lines. Check you're happy with how those different values match up. Hopefully the colours will help you to see which parts are which. At this point, believe it or not, we're actually nearly finished. We can now enter everything on the right hand side into a calculator, but, and I'll stress this again, you must do so very carefully. Make sure brackets are everywhere they should be and that you're not missing any of those symbols out. OK, if you and I have both done that correctly, we should get 73.1149 and that's the value of A squared. So to actually find A, we need to square root this answer, which rounded off should give 8.6 metres. As you can see then, it can actually be quite quick to do, but you must be so careful with every small detail of your calculations or it will go wrong. Let's look at one more question where we're being asked to find C. Now questions like this have a tendency to cause complete havoc in my experience as it can be quite difficult to switch the letters around in the cosine rule, but let's have a go anyway and see how it's done. The important bit is the angle, as it's angle C that's marked in our triangle and angle A that appears in the cosine rule, we need to swap all our A's with C's and all our C's with A's. We can leave the B's exactly where they are. Let's look at the result. We said we'd swap the C's and the A's, so A squared became C squared b squared stayed exactly as it was, c squared was switched to a squared, 2bc became 2ba, and cos of angle a became cos of angle c. Right, that's definitely the most difficult part. Now we're able to just substitute our values in as in the previous example. So, c squared equals 6.5 squared plus 5.6 squared, the b 6.5, the a 5.6, minus, don't forget to open that bracket, 2 times 6.5 times 5.6, times by cos 30 
8. Then don't forget to close those brackets off properly. So c squared is equal to 16.2428. Let's square root that and find that c to one decimal place is 4.0 centimetres. Right, we're all done here on this topic. Thanks for watching as always. In our next tutorial, we'll continue to look at the cosine rule and this time use it to find angles rather than sides. Don't forget you can find plenty more resources on the website and if you have any queries about any part of this tutorial, then please just let me know in the comments section. Thanks again and bye for now.